know, 2000 Buddha fans have got to go there and hopefully, hopefully roars onto a victory, but you know what it is, it's, it's hard to see now. I can't take it at Norwich, I can't stand Norwich, it's that club that just irritates me. Yo guys, what's going on? I'm back to another video. Now I know during the international break there was no videos and I apologise. I just wasn't sure what to film. And of yesterday, we decided to do bits of business. Um, by the time I seen the business, I was actually at work so I couldn't actually release the video. Um, and of course a few new contracts there. Uh, Isaiah Jones, brilliant, penned down till 2025. And Neil Taylor joins us from ex Aston Villa. Ex Swansea as well, I believe. Was he ex Swansea? I think he was at Swansea. Anyhow, he joins us till January and he's a very, very, very good left back. I think he's been out for a couple of years, though. Bad uh, injury, but listen, he's into Middlesbrough now. He's going to get straight to work with Chris Wilder and I'm excited to see how Neil Taylor does for Middlesbrough. Very, very good left back. Tomorrow, Millwall at home. Chris Wilder's first game at the Riverside Stadium. Um, I've heard, and don't take this by an actual figure, but I've heard 25,000 plus tomorrow inside the Riverside Stadium. For Chris Wilder's first ever game. I am buzzing for tomorrow. I genuinely, genuinely to me, feels like the first game of the season. I am absolutely buzzing for it. Chris Wilder is a top manager. And a lot of people who don't support Middlesbrough have already told me. And of course, I work with a lot of Sunderland fans. I work with a lot of Newcastle fans. And I've had the pleasure to tell me straight away, AJ, it won't happen. AJ will, fade. AJ will take you to the League One. Nonsense. Forget all that. Chris Wilder is a top manager. And I believe, I do thoroughly believe he will do the business for us. If we back him, and if we give him time, he'll be alright for Middlesbrough. But, Millwall are playing well this season. Ninth inside the league table. Uh, go off the back of a 1-1 with Derby. Of course, we go off the back of a decent, actually really, really good draw with West Brom. A game that we could have won it in the first half. Could have had a few more in the first half. Carried it on to the second half and maybe seen out the game. But, we'll take the point on the off horns. It was a game that I think going into it, everybody kind of didn't want to go into it at all. Uh, I think everybody's kind of doubted the butter, uh, you know, given that West Brom are third, given that they've still got Premier League players within that team. I think everybody was a bit in fear of playing West Brom, but to be fair, you know, we rose to the challenge, we went there and, you know, ultimately got the point, so happy days. And I, I look at it tomorrow against Millwall and I don't think it'll be any different. I think it will be a tough game, as I say, every single week. Inside this division, it's hard to call it because anybody can beat anybody and anybody can move up this league table very, very easily. I think we're 14th. If we win tomorrow, I think we can go 9th. It's, 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 honestly, it's as crazy as that, you know what I mean? You're always up and down inside this league table. Consistency is the key. We all know that now. Consistency of results is absolutely the key to try and get up that league table and try and get to any of the top spots. Uh, I'm not going to go too over the top of my head and say that Borough are going to go up this season with Chris Wilder, but if it happened, I would love it, of course. I'm a Middlesbrough fan. I would love to see the back inside the big time when we're ready. Uh, I think the team needs some more work done to it. I think if we're going to try and challenge at the top end of that table... We definitely need a few more bodies and a few more experienced bodies, a few more talented bodies as well, I'll be honest, to try and challenge. Because I think, you know, you go to the Premier League, you get 100, 120 million to go to the Premier League with. And I still think, you know, I still think we need to build them before we go and spend that, you know, nice, nice money that they only give us. But, as I say, tomorrow, Millwall, good team. But at the Riverside, the record isn't brilliant. You know, we often have a good record against Millwall at home, usually. I think it's normally at the den where that's a struggle. I just think, you know, fans behind the manager... Fans behind the players for 90 minutes. It's going to be a great atmosphere. I do know, you know, that Borough going to be loud and proud. And it's going to be a big, big noise tomorrow. Especially from that south stand. And all over the stadium as well. But, you know, I'm really, really excited for it. I can't wait. Massive vlog out tomorrow. It's going to be brilliant. How many fans are Millwall bringing? Can somebody let me know? I don't know how many they're bringing down. I can't imagine it'd be too many. Because normally, you know, fans from the south don't normally bring a lot to Middlesbrough. If I'm being honest with you. I would expect no more than a 1,000, but listen, I could be wrong. Hopefully, Millwall have sold out and brought 3,000, so it's a great atmosphere. Who knows? But, as I say, tomorrow, score prediction. I'm going to go... Chris Wilder's first game. I'm going to give you a prediction now, right? That I've been saying all week to people at work. 3-0 Middlesbrough. That's what I'm going to go with. Nah, honestly... You might not agree with me, but I've been saying it all week at work, ever since Monday morning. And the last time I predicted a scoreline from Monday morning onwards, it actually ended up being 3 0 as well. It was actually Bolton away. Brett Sombalonga scored the first one. I think he got the second one. And then Marvin Johnson got the third one. And actually won 100 quid on that day. So I'm sticking with it. We'll be putting money on it tomorrow. 3 0 Middlesbrough. I might be wrong. I might be right. Who knows? What's your score prediction? Leave it inside that comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. Up the butter.